Hey guys, this is LJ and welcome back to How To Hydro. In this episode, we're going to be going over adding up your air conditioning needs. Um, this is a big topic, guys, and this is the make or break point for a lot of grow rooms. You want to make sure that you have enough cooling to keep your plants in perfect health. Keeping your temp in check is a huge deal and one that we need to dedicate some time to. Alright guys, in order to calculate the amount of air conditioning you're going to need in your grow room, we're going to be learning about BTU, which stands for British Thermal Units. And this is how most of the world gauges heaters and air conditioners for how much heat or cooling they can put out. Some of you are probably wondering, how many BTU does a 1000 watt bulb put off? Most experts say that a 1000 watt bulb puts off between 3.5 and, and 4 BTU per watt, meaning that your 1000 watt bulb is probably between 3500 and 4000 BTU. Now the important thing to remember here is that that is for an uncooled light, meaning a light that's just installed in a hood and you let it burn, or a socket with a bulb at the end of it, something like that, but something that is not ducted and being air cooled. Air cooling your lights will generally remove a quarter to a third of the heat that's being produced off of your lights. The reason for the mixed results has to do with our air source. If you're pulling air from outside in the middle of the night, middle of winter, Oakland, California, you're probably going to be getting air temps around 40 to 50 degrees. If you're pulling air in the middle of a summer day in Palm Springs, California, you're probably going to be seeing temps over 100 and not a lot of cooling will take place. Again, I recommend running your rooms at night and drawing cold air from outside. Some of you may have purchased an air conditioner in the past and noticed that it said 8,000 BTU or 12,000 BTU on the box. That's the amount of cooling that this unit is capable of putting out. A 12,000 BTU air conditioner is also referred to as one ton of cooling, meaning that a 5 ton air conditioner is actually 60,000 BTU and a 12,000 BTU air conditioner is actually one ton. These BTU numbers are critical when you're trying to cool your grow room. Let me give you guys a little example. If I had four 1,000 watt air cooled lights that I was trying to cool off in my grow room, and I was in taking 40 degree air from outside, I could expect a 25 to 30 percent temperature drop in the heat that's actually being emitted from those lights. The way it would look mathematically is something like this. 4 times 4,000 BTU for each light would equal 16,000 BTU. Now if I was taking 25 percent off of that via the air cooling that I'm doing, I would effectively take 4,000 off that number, leaving only 12,000 BTU of actual heat that I'm going up against with an air conditioning solution. Wait, there's more. There are several other items that put off heat in the grow room as well, such as ballast, dehumidifiers, CO2 burners, air pumps, fans, and pretty much anything else that runs off electricity or gas. Your grow lights always, though, are the biggest culprit, so it's always a good idea to be modest with your air conditioning calculation and make sure that you leave a little BTU left over to stand up to hot days and auxiliary equipment in the grow room. Guys, this is LJ for BigBudsMag.com. Feel free to hit me up anytime. I want to hear from you guys at LJ at BigBudsMag.com and send in any questions, any uh, thoughts, anything you want, man. I'd love to hear it all. Thank you for subscribing and sticking with us. And guys, we'll bring you another episode really soon. This is LJ for Big Buds Mag, and we'll see you next time.